Officer Gary, get in here! Yes, sir? Gary, I was looking through your file and I found some troubling news. Oh, what's that, sir? Well, it seems you never finished the fifth grade. Oh, yeah, that. Well, you see, I grew up in Brooklyn, and then I moved away and I went to a different school, so I just went right into sixth grade instead of finishing fifth grade. Well, that's not good, guy! We can't have a police officer that never finished fifth grade! Sir, what does it matter if I never learned all my shapes or whatever? Guy, we're gonna need you to repeat the fifth grade! What? Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous! This is like the plot of an Adam Sandler movie or something! Guy, either you go back to the fifth grade, or you turn in your badge! <sighs> okay, fine, I'll do it. Stupid. Hey, Karen. Brady, get home early from work! Yeah, the chief says I can't be a cop anymore until I finish the fifth grade. You never finished the fifth grade, Brady? No. Well, how'd you graduate high school? I don't know, Karen. I don't understand it either, okay? I just have to go for one day to show him how smart I am. Oh, boy, Penelope's not gonna like this! I'll talk to her. Penelope, get in here! What do you want, Dad? Well, Penelope, your daddy never finished fifth grade, so I'm gonna be going to school with you tomorrow. But look, it's gonna be fun! We're gonna be like best friends. We'll hold hands, and, and I'll protect you from all the bullies. This is the most embarrassing thing that ever happened to me! Huh. Well, I'm not worried. She'll love it by tomorrow. Oh my god, I can't believe you're coming to school with me! This is so embarrassing! Hey, I don't like it either, Penelope, okay? But it's only for one day. I just have to go for long enough to prove that I'm smarter than a fifth grader without having to meet Jeff Foxworthy. Just don't acknowledge me, okay? Okay, but I don't know why you're so embarrassed of me. You know, your dad was actually pretty cool when he was in school. I'll have you know I could flick my boogers farther than anyone else in the class. That's disgusting! And, and guess what? I was the first one in my friend group to get his first kiss! I mean, it was with a dude, and it was on a dare, but he was a pretty good-looking dude. You know, I pulled hose. I mean, they were guy hose, but I still felt cool. Ugh. Oh, the bus is here! Just don't talk to me and don't sit next to me! Penelope! Ugh. Penelope, I don't see why I can't sit next to you. I'm your father. Oh, you must want to say bye to your daughter. Oh, uh, no, I'm actually going to school. Is that legal? It's court-ordered, actually. All right, well then go sit down. Really? I guess anybody can get on the bus. What, Dad? I told you not to sit next to me! Well, I don't have anywhere else to sit, Penelope. I don't have any friends. Besides, this is like bonding time. No, it's not! What? Okay, who's the asshole? You want to go? What? Uh... I mean, ne never mind, young king. Uh, Wakanda forever. What, Dad? Look, it's my first day, and I, I don't want any trouble, okay? Um, oh, you know what? Uh, hey, would you like my lunch money? Oh, cool! Yeah, there you go, bro. Dog. See, I'm already making friends. What are we gonna eat for lunch now? We can eat when we get home. Ugh. Yo, uh, we really got the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round, all through the town. Shut I got a booger. Oh, oh, yeah. Well, check this out. Dad, ew! You're lucky I don't have a booger. I'd be flicking up a storm. Dad, what are you doing? But I don't have a seat, Penelope. No, you can't sit here. Go sit up there. I don't want to sit by myself. I'll get lonely. Just go. Uh, uh, hey, homeboy, can I sit with you? What? Uh, nothing. <laughs> We're all good, brother. Uh, okay. Well, this brings me back. Ooh, a pencil. But don't play with your pencil. Don't play with your pencil. Oh, but it's so cool, it's like a spaceship. Pew, 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 pew. Oh, 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 it's like a lightsaber. No, 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 take that, Darth Vader. No, 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 no. All right, Cross, before we get started today, we have a new student. Would you like to come up here and introduce yourself? Oh, no, I'm a baseball player in the World Series. Bah, just hit that bitch out of the park. Home run, and the crowd goes wild. Dad, the teacher's calling you. Go up there. Hold on, Penelope, I gotta hit one more home run, and I win the World Series. Oh, uh, excuse me! The guy playing with his pencil! Stop playing with your pencil! Come up here! What if my wiener was this long? I mean, not very thick, but it's a pretty good size. Although it's too pointy. Uh, uh me? me? Uh, uh, oh, yeah, okay, hold on. Oh, so embarrassing! Alright, everyone. This is the new student. Go ahead and introduce yourself. Uh, I, I'm a Brooklyn tea guy. N no cap. Facts, you know? <laughs> and I know what you're thinking. Uh, you look like you're too old to be here. Well, well, I am. Because, you see, I never graduated elementary school, so they're making me do it again. So, you know, stay in school, kids. You know, keep keep off that TikTok. Because I know you guys like TikTok, right? You, you seen that kid that does this? He's got, like, the backpack and he flosses. You guys have seen that, right? Or, or maybe you know this one. Charlie bit my finger. Ouch, Charlie. You, you, you remember that? I wonder what they're doing. Uh, anyway, I'm Penelope's dad, but uh, she doesn't want you to know that because she's, she's embarrassed, you know, because she came out my nutsack. <laughs> Shit slaps my legs when I walk. <laughs> talking talking free balling. Anyway, don't make fun of Penelope too much. She just started her period. You know, that, that's, that's when you bleed out of your gooch. I'm really glad us guys don't have to worry about that. The closest we have is when we eat too much Taco Bell and our butthole bleeds, am I right? <laughs>
Well, anyway, uh, I, I'm a cop, so, uh, but not right now, you know, so if anybody's got that Mary Jane, hit a brother up, you know, that, that devil's lettuce, that jazz cabbage, homeboy in the back knows what I'm talking about. All right, that's enough from you, go sit down. Oh, okay. So, Penelope, how'd I do? I hate my life! Oh, you teenage girls and your emotions, just wait till you grow up and have real problems. Hey, Penelope, I heard you just started your period. Ugh, I'm gonna no, you're not. It's only going to bleed out for a few days every month for the rest of your life. Hey, do you want to be friends? Oh, you're Penelope's dad, right? Yeah. I'll be your friend if you give me brownie points and smash your daughter one day. Hmm. You know, it took balls to say that to me. I like you. Hey, you want a lightsaber fight? Of course I want a lightsaber fight. Come on. <laughs> I'm Darth Vader. 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 I can't believe this is my life. All right, class, we have a spelling test today. So everyone, get out a piece of paper, and I'm going to read off random words, and you have to spell them. Oh, shoot. Hey, Penelope, can I borrow some paper? You brought a backpack to school, but no paper? Hey, there's nothing in the backpack. I just brought it because it looked cool. I got it from smlmerch.com. Link in the description. Ugh, fine. Thank you. Okay, teach, I'm ready for this spelling test. What's the first word gonna be? Cat, dog, something like that? The first word you gotta spell is possum. Well, that's easy. Possum. P-O-S-S-U-M. Duh. Hey, Penelope, you spell it right? Turn around, Dad. Stop looking at my paper. Wait, Penelope, what the hell are you doing? Why'd you start it with an O? That's how you spell possum. No, it's not, Penelope. Is your brain okay? It starts with an O, Dad. It's pronounced possum, not a possum. It's not a French possum, Penelope. Stupid. All right, Cross. The next word you're gonna spell is pterodactyl. This is easy. Did you spell this one right, Penelope? Yes, Dad. What, Penelope, are you having a stroke or something? Pterodactyl does not start with a P. Possum starts with a P, and pterodactyl starts with a T. The P is silent. But why would they do that, Penelope? Why would they have a secret P? What's the secret about? You're going to fail this test. No, you're going to fail this test, and then I'm going to have to ground you. You're the worst. Learn to spell. All right, Cross. The next word you're going to spell is pneumonia. I know how to spell pneumonia. I'm a doctor. Hey, Penelope, did you get this one right? Yes, dear. Wait, Jesus, Penelope, what is with you and all these P's? The P is silent. Pneumonia does not start with a P. I know this. I'm a doctor. I don't see how. It starts with an N. It starts with a P. No, it doesn't. Crass, no talking while you're taking the test or you fail! No, no, teacher, I have a question. Okay, what have you been teaching my daughter? Because she thinks possum starts with an O, pterodactyl starts with a P, and pneumonia also starts with a P. But what is this? Because that's the correct way you spell those words. But really? No, 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 no. no. I, I have to check this out. Hold on. Let, let me just Google it real quick. What, what? Oh, no shit. Huh. Well, I guess I'm wrong. Look, I haven't had to spell things in a long time, okay? Well, thank you for giving everyone the answers. Anyway, Crass, we'll try another spelling test tomorrow. Now what we're gonna do is a science experiment. Good going, Dad. Now I have to take another test tomorrow. Yeah, well, I, I, I knew those were the answers the whole time. No, you didn't! Y yes, I did. I was just trying to let everybody know. You know, just, just help a brother out, right? Right, dog? You know, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, why are we making him sit in the back, huh? That's that's messed up. There needs to be some changes around here. I, I got your back, bro. All right, Cross. For today's science experiment, I'm going to show you the chemical reaction between vinegar and baking soda. In this bottle, I have vinegar. And in this balloon, I have baking soda. When I lift the balloon up, the baking soda will drop into the vinegar, causing a chemical reaction, and the gas will inflate the balloon. Allow me to demonstrate. with my butthole. Huh, that's pretty neat. Hey, Penelope, you want to be my partner? Nope, I'm good. We're going to be partners. All right, Chris, now I'm going to come around and give you the tool so you can recreate this experiment. All right, Cody, flip it, flip it, flip it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Whoa! Sploosh. Oh, look, oh, look how big it's getting. Oh, that's hot. I, I am aroused. Oh, boy. Okay, Jeffy, flip it. This shit's about to be crazy. <laughs> Oh, this looks so cool. Come on, Penelope, flip ours. Okay. Oh, this is going to be great. Here it goes. Let's do it. What? No, it's not. What is happening? What? Come on, man. Nothing's happening. What? What did you do wrong? I, I didn't do anything wrong. It's, just, it's not working. This is dumb. Why are we even doing this? This is stupid. Why are we going through all this trouble? We could just blow it up with our mouths. We have lungs for a reason. This That's not the point, Dad! I don't care if it's the point. This is stupid. <sighs> Teacher, this is stupid. If something went wrong with your experiment, it's because you didn't follow directions. What? Didn't follow directions? What are you talking about? She lifted up the balloon, the little shit fell in the bottle, and then nothing happened. Come on, man. All right, Krauss. The next thing we're going to do is math. So what I'm going to do is 
I'm gonna hold up a math card, and whoever shouts out the correct answer first will get one skill. Now let's get started. Yes, something I'm finally good at. I'm good at math. Hey Penelope, my mouth is about to be full of skittles. All right, first question. Nine minus six. Ooh, ooh, me, 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 me. Three. Correct. Catch. Oh, that's good. What the hell? I, I didn't know we could just shout it out. I thought we were raising hands. Okay, I got the next one. All right, next question. Nine plus 11. George Bush! Twin Towers! Inside job! Guys, shut up. The Pentagon is the most surveillance building in the world. You're telling me it only got seven frames of a blurry object hitting it? That's not the answer to the math problem. The gas station next door got the surveillance footage taken by the FBI? 18. 20. D -d 20. That is correct, Penelope. Ah! No. Mm. Damn it, I wanted a Skittle. All right, the next question is 9 plus 12. 21. 21. I said it first. No, I said it first. No, I said it first. I said it first. I said it first. <sighs> Good job, Penelope. Ah. Um. No, 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 no. I clearly said it first. Shut up, Dad. No, this teacher is discriminating against us. Me and my boy back there. Yeah, he hasn't given either one of us a skill. I think it's a skin problem. Start getting the math problems right and you'll get a skill. No, 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 no. I'm done with this. I'm about to come up there and take the whole damn bag of Skittles. I'd like to see you try. Okay, bet. I'm about to throw haymakers. Yo, dog, you gonna back me up? What? Let's get him. Come on. What's good, dog? You wanna go? Come on. I bet you won't do anything. Come on. Do something. Do something. Do something. Ah! You guys see the teacher hit me? <laughs> hey Penelope, your dad's crying in front of the whole class. This is the most embarrassing day of my life. Well, guy, it looks like you found a loophole. We agreed to drop the charges on the teacher if he would pass you from the fifth grade. So congratulations, you passed the fifth grade. Yes, that's right, I'm a man, even though my eye hurts. But looking back over your file, I saw that you never graduated kinder- <laughs> You better wake up, boy. What's wrong, Dad? I told you to wash them damn dishes. I did. Oh, no, you didn't. Come on. Uh, oh, so you washed the dishes, huh? What's this? These were not here before. That's because I ate. Well, how was I supposed to know there were dishes now? Boy, don't talk back to your dad and wash them damn dishes. Okay. Cody, why are you out of bed? It's past your bedtime. Well, Dad woke me up to do the dishes. Damn, Skippy, you gonna wash these dishes? Go to bed. After you wash these dishes? No, go to bed first. I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Damn it, you grounded for talking back, boy. Go to your room. We don't want to see you for a week. And no toothpaste! Yeah, I better not see no clean ass teeth! <laughs> my life. I wish I could just disappear. Hey, Cody. What? Who are you? It's me, Hagrid. I, I don't know who you are. Mom, Dad, there's a homeless man in the house. No, 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 no. Listen, you're a wizard, Cody. I, I'm a wizard? Anger rich. Filthy rich. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Mom, Dad. No, 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 no. Just come with me. I'll take you to your safe. It, it sounds like you're trying to kidnap me. Nah, it'll be fine. Come on. Okay, well, I guess it's better than being here. Come on, Cody, how about my motorcycle? Hold on, I, ju I just have a few questions. Where are we going and should I tell my parents? Whoa, 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 those aren't your parents. Your real parents are dead. And those dead parents made you filthy rich. Come on, just check it out. We think you're safe. Uh, okay. This is your safe. This big thing? Yes, look. Holy mackerel, all this money's mine? Everything you see is yours. Wait, why do you have the combination of my safe? Because your parents trusted me, and they really shouldn't have. There used to be a lot more money than this. You see, I went to a wizard strip club, and there was floating titties all over my face. Okay, well, I'm going to be changing the password. Wait, what's this red thing? This. <laughs> this is mine. Uh, are you sure it's not mine? Because it's in my safe. Yeah, it's mine. Just hurry up, grab some cash. I have a list of things for you to buy. Okay. Like an owl, hurry! An, an owl? Okay, fine, I guess I'll go. Okay, I think I got everything on the list. I just can't believe I'm loaded. Yeah, that's crazy! Uh, oh, yeah, uh, here, here's for helping. Thanks. Uh, so how do I get to Hogwarts? There! That, that's a brick wall. No, it's a magical wall. You run as fast as you can into that wall, and you appear in front of Hogwarts. Really? You're not screwing with me? No, come on, do it! Okay, if you say so. Ow! Ow! Oh, shit! Ow, that hurt! <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that! Stupid! Come on, follow me. I'll take you to Hogwarts. Dick? This is Hogwarts. Are you sure? Yes. Now go grab your owl, 
Go inside and make some friends. You never told me why I need the owl. You're also famous. What? I'm rich and I'm famous? What am I famous for? There was a guy who killed your parents. He tried to kill you too, but he couldn't. That's why you left a scar on your face. You're the boy who lived, wait, Potter. Wait, 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 wait. So, so somebody killed my parents and he's trying to kill me? Yes. Now go inside and have some fun. No, who's trying to kill me? Welcome to Hogwarts. What? I, Hagrid, don't leave. Oh, oh, Jesus. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry, just let me squeeze in. Uh, hey, you guys know what I'm supposed to do with this owl? It's supposed to go in your dorm room. I have a dorm room? I have to live here? Well, take it off the table, put it in the chair. Uh, yes, yeah, sorry, sorry about that, let me just put this down here. Hi. Hi, I'm Penelope Granger. And I'm Nigel Weasley. Oh, hey, I'm Cody Potter. <gasps> Holy cricket, you're Cody Potter. I've read about you in a book, you're famous. Wait, there's a book about me? And you're rich. I'm poor. Oh, well, that sucks. Uh, so there's a book about me? Also, I heard somebody's trying to kill me. You guys know anything about that? Yes, we do, but we can't say his name. It's scary. Oh, okay, but I am going to need to know his name because he's trying to kill me. So, I mean, clearly somebody told you guys his name because it's the name you're not going to say. So could somebody tell me? I mean, you could just whisper it. That'd be fine. Shh, the sorting ceremony is beginning. Okay, you could, could you just tell me what he looks like? Shh. Okay. Hello, students. Welcome to Hogwarts. I'm Professor Dumbledore, and I will call you up one by one and let you wear my hat. And he'll tell you where to go. I hope I'm in Ravenclaw. Oh, hi, Bomb in Swivering. Why are they letting the hat do it? Can't we just pick the house for ourselves? Also, the guy who's trying to kill me, is, is he here right now? Like, could you guys point him out? Just give me a hint or something? Well, if it isn't Cody Potter. That's Junior Malfoy. He's mean. And look at those ugly teeth. You must be a Weasley. I is your family known for that? Yeah. Well, Cody Potter, I don't care if you're famous or rich. I hate you. Uh Okay. Okay, the first kid is Jeffy. Hmm, not much going on in there. Hufflepuff! Hufflepuff! Hufflepuff? Does that mean I get to smoke weed? Alright, next kid is Junior. Man, I sure hope it's Slytherin. Slytherin! Slytherin! Oh, good. All right, next one, Penelope. I hope I get Ravenclaw. Huh, in your dreams. Your Gryffindor, go sit down. But I didn't even try the hat on. That's because he's tired. He told me before you came up here, your Gryffindor, go sit down. Ugh. And Nigel, your Gryffindor too. He's still tired. And uh, Cody, Cody Potter, you come up here. He has enough in him for one more. Uh, that hat doesn't have lice in it, does it? Because a lot of people have been wearing it. Uh, okay, screw me then. Hufflepuff! Hufflepuff! Wait, okay, yeah, Hufflepuff. I like that, that's fine. Okay, so what happens now? It's time to eat. Oh, good. Um, c can you just tell me the guy's name? Like, can you at least tell me what letter it starts with? Let the feast begin. I ordered Applebee's to go. Oh my god, it looks so good. Now this is eating good in the neighborhood, isn't it? Yeah, Applebee's. How magical. Oh, Cody, why are you going to eat? Do you want some pasta? I'm eating the burger, Potter. Okay, you can have it. I think I lost my appetite. Cody, you have to eat something. We have a lot of classes later today. <sighs> I just got here, and I found out someone's trying to kill me. What? Yeah, I think I'm just going to take a nap until class starts. All right, class. Today we're going to be learning how to fly a broom. The first thing you're going to do is look at your broomstick and yell, Up! 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 up. 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 I just picked mine up and started sweeping the floor with it. Very good, Jeffy. Up. 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 Ow, damn it. Up. up. Ow, 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 ow. Teacher, my broom won't stop hitting me. Ow. That's because you're doing it wrong. Up. I'm just going to Google up. it. Up. Put up. up. No phones in class. Yeah, no phones in class, nerd. What? Hey, hey. Go get it. What? I'm going to go get it. Whoa, look at him go. God damn it. Why'd you throw my phone, dick? That was amazing flying, Potter. You should be on the Quidditch team as a seeker. Okay. Can I be on the Quidditch team too? Sure. I'm going to beat you in Quidditch. But what? Hello and welcome to the Hogwarts Quidditch Tournament. Now, usually what you're supposed to do is knock a ball through a bunch of hoops, but we took all the hoops down because all that really matters is this thing. If you catch the golden snitch, you win immediately. So just focus on this. Okay, now go! You see that? Yeah, that thing's fast. Well, I'm gonna go catch it, because I have a Nimbus 2001 George Bush edition. Aw, I didn't know those came out yet. I'm not jealous. I could buy like 30 of those hoes, because I'm fucking loaded. I got all my money in Gringotts. Well, I'm gonna catch it before you. Nuh-uh. 
Uh, I'm about to catch it! No, I'm gonna catch it. No, I'm gonna catch it! No, I'm gonna catch it. Whoa! Whoa, I lost control of my broomstick! I'm not controlling this! S somebody evil is! I wonder who it could be! Crash! Crash your broom! Die! Don't crash. Don't crash. What's, what's happening? Don't, don't crash. Don't listen. Crash. Why are you doing that? Crash. Don't crash. Whoa. Whoa, no. Someone help. Whoa. Penelope. Cody's about to die. It looks like someone's controlling his broom. <gasps> it's Professor Snipe. We gotta do something about it. I'll go distract him. All right, then. Die. Crash. Don't crash your broom. Don't Teacher, I have a lighter at school. What? You have a lighter at school? You're not supposed to have that. You're in trouble. Let's go to the principal's office. Come on. We gotta take her to the principal's office. But die. Come on! Whoa, 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 hey, it stopped. Oh, look, the golden snitch. No. Hey, Cody, spit that out. Hey, look, I caught it. I guess I win. Cody Potter grabbed the snitch. Hufflepuff wins. Yay, Cody, you won. Yeah, Cody, you did it. You're the greatest Quidditch player ever. I think I just got lucky. No, that's pure skill, Cody. My broomstick looks like a carrot. Alright class, welcome to Wizard Class 101. I am your teacher, Professor Snapey Choo, and today I will be teaching you how to use your wand. See, I have a tiny wand because I am Asian. Everything I have is tiny. And it is very important that you pay attention in wizard class. Isn't that right, Potter? Huh? Oh, yeah, sorry, teacher. I was just texting my mom to let her know I'm rich and I'm not coming back home to that shithole. Oh, so you think you don't have to pay attention because you know everything. Well, what would I get if I added a powder root of asphodel to an infusion of wormwood? Hmm. I don't know, dog. I just found out I'm a wizard and I'm rich today, so I've been kind of focusing on that. So just give me a few weeks. And I bet you couldn't also tell me how many grains of sand there are on Earth. Hmm. No one knows that. Hop off my cock, dog. Pick on someone else. All right, Cross. The first spell you're going to learn is a little floating trick. You're going to take your stick and point it at whatever you want. And then you're going to say, Wingardium Leviosa. And then whatever you point it at should float. So try it. Wingardium Leviosa. Wingardium Leviosa. Hey, Cody Potter, that, that spell will come in handy with your mom because she's so fat she can't get out of bed. So that, that, that spell will help her float because she's so fat. Hagrid, he's bullying me. Who? The blonde kid. Pay me to beat him up. Okay, right, here you go. All right, kid, you coming with me. But why? He paid me. Ah! Thanks, Hagrid. Oh, Cody, what kind of spell is that? Bully disappear, Oh, uh, that wasn't a spell. I just got cash. Oh, right. Wingardium Leviosa! Wingardium Leviosa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm making this desk float! Look, that's cool! Potter! You put that dust down! You don't want to hurt nobody! Uh, okay, I'll, I'll try to put it down. Whoa! Oh, shit. I'm in trouble. Cody! What in the world would you do that? It's Leviosa, not Leviosa. Oh, it's true, isn't it? Oh, Potter, you go to Dumbledore's office now. Ugh. Oh, no, not Dumbledore. Hey, Dumbledore, I threw a desk at Professor Snape. The way of the wizard is not in which you seek, Potter. Okay. Whatever you do, don't go into the door upstairs. Why would you even tell me? Because I don't want you to go in there. It's almost like you want me to go in there. Well, I don't. Okay, I'm going to go check it out. I told him not to. Huh, this must be the door Dumbledore was talking about. Hi, Cody! What are you doing? Are you skipping class? No, Dumbledore told me not to go into this room, and now I want to. Oh, well, you can't go in there. He says do not enter. It would be against the rules, Cody. You know what? I think we should go in there now. Good thinking, Nigel. Let me just try to open this. What? Oh, it's not even locked. Burr, 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 burr. Whoa, is that a three-headed dog? You know, more of a cat person myself. That's Hagrid's dog. It must be guarding the door. It eats people. Be careful. What? Jesus, what? What is it even doing here? Okay, I'm gonna go ask Hagrid about it. Hey, Hagrid? Oh, hey there, Cody. How's school going? Yeah, uh, it sucks. Listen, I have a question. There's like this giant three-headed dog and I'm pretty sure he's yours. How do I get him to stop eating me? Oh, if you wanna know that, that's gonna cost you a pretty penny. <sighs> You're bleeding me dry here, dog, damn. All you have to do is play music or go to sleep. Really, that's it? Yeah, that's it. Okay, well, thanks.
Alright, Hagrid said we have to play music for him to make him fall asleep, so does anyone have Spotify or something? I've got this, I'll sing for him. <coughs> Be it she bitchy spy, I went up your water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Up came the sun and tried to pull the rain and the itchy bitchy spy. Ah, went up the spout again. Wait, wow, he's actually asleep. Yeah, let's go take a look, see, innit? Alright. Oh, look, a chessboard! And in that, Professor Quarrel! Hey, kids. Is that the Sorcerer's Stone? Yeah, it is, but I can't. Touch it yet. But if I beat you in chess, I can. Oh, well, you can't beat us in chess. We're British. <sighs> Bring it, hose. All right, I'll go first in. Knight to E3. Uh, Nigel, I think you have to move it. What kind of wizard chess is this? Oh, it's not. It's just regular chess. Oh, all right, then. Go ahead. Great, decent. There we go. <sighs> Pawn to A3. This is going to take a while. <laughs> You're done. Oh, I'm done. Watch this. Take that, you fool. <gasps> I can't believe I've lost it, Jess. I don't feel so good. I think I need to see the nurse. I'm going to take him to the clinic. <laughs> hey, Cody, guess what? I got a face on my head. Not this face. I actually got another face on the back of my head. Check this shit out. It's wild. Cody Potter, we meet again! I've never met you. I think I'd remember a face on the back of a guy's head. Are, are you guys like conjoined twins or something? Can you breathe under that towel? D does he like have to brush your teeth? You guys share the same throat. How does that work? No time for games, Potter. Give me the stone and we can bring your parents back to life. I didn't really know my parents. Like, they left me a lot of cash, and I'm worried if they come back, I won't get to keep it. Give me the Sorcerer's Stone now! I don't like your tone, and also, it's right there. You can just grab it. I can't! Hand it to me! Nah, you sound kinda evil. I, I don't really like any of this. If you won't give it to me, then you will die! Kill him! Ow! Ow! My hand's burning! Ow! How are you doing that? Please! Wow, this stone looks like it's worth a lot of money. Hello, Kitty! Oh, hey, Dumbledore. I, I found the Sorcerer's Stone. Oh, and also Professor Quirrell was evil. He had a face growing on the back of his head. You guys should probably do better background checks. The stone must be destroyed! Hand it over. That seems okay to me. Well, it's not. Hand it over. Okay. Chick-ching! What? Nothing! Yep. A uh, Hufflepuff wins! What? What? I win? What does that mean? Uh, hey guys, I, uh, I killed a man with my hands, and then Dumbledore told me I won. Well, it's time to pack your bags, Cody. We're going home for the summer holiday. What? Home for the summer? I just got here today. I don't even think I learned anything. What? I never figured out what this owl is for. Like, why do I even have this? I haven't seen anyone else here with an owl. It's for mail. Mail? I have a phone. Oh, oh, also, the guy with the two faces that I killed, was that the guy who was trying to kill me? Because he, he did try to kill me. So, can we say his name now? Is that him? G guys? Okay, I guess I'll see you guys next year. Hey, Danny! You wanna see me show with me while I play my cow piano? No, Jeffy. But Danny, I already got you a microphone! That's not a microphone, that's a razor. What's a razor? I use that to shave, Jeffy. Goddamn, bitch! You got a bush so big, you gotta break out the power tools? I got a song about that. We don't wanna hear a song, Jeffy. Turn off your cat piano and go to your room. Go. Mommy needs to shave her hairy bush, shave her hairy bush, shave her hairy bush. Mommy needs to shave her hairy bush before it gets long and stinky. That's it, Jeffy. You are, you are grounded. How am I grounded, Daddy? I'm just speaking straight facts. Look at the hair on this thing. At least we know that the carpet matches the drapes. Ew, Jeffy, just put that out. Ow! There's someone at the door. Baby, just go, go wash his mouth out. Hello? Howdy, neighbor. Hucker dudes, what do you want? Well, I'm taking my wife on a date night to a fancy little restaurant called Outback Steakhouse. Ever heard of it? Really hard to get into. 45 minute wait with a reservation. Bloomin' onion to die for. Filet mignon melts in your mouth. I've been to Outback Steakhouse. Oh, I didn't know you could afford it. Father, why can't we go? Now, Timmy, what did you get on your report card? A B. A B? Well, I be positive you're not going to Outback Steakhouse. Steakhouse. Oh. Anyway, Marvin, I'll see if you'd watch.
watch the tots for us. The last babysitter got fired for sleeping on the job. Now, Hank, tell him where she was caught sleeping. In bed with me. <laughs> that's right, you cheating bastard. Yeah, that's why I'm taking her to Outback Steakhouse. I gotta apologize somehow. <laughs> it's not enough. Oh, come on, honey. I told you you could get two appetizers just as long as one of them's that bloomin' onion. Well, here we have a list of huck do's and don'ts for you. Yeah, it's like an instruction manual for kids. Sometimes you just want to take the batteries out, huh, Marvin? <laughs> well, I'm really busy. Here you go! Yep, phone number's on the back. See you later. What? I didn't say yes. <sighs> come inside, kids. <sighs> Who's at the door, Marvin? It was the Hucker Doos. They want us to watch their kids. And you said yes? They didn't give me a choice. Come on, Daddy. You know Mommy wanted to spend some alone time with you. That's why she shaved her bush. So what are your names? Hello, ma'am. My name is Timmy. And I'm Susie. Pleasure to meet your acquaintance. What do you two do for fun? Well, we follow a very strict schedule. First, we practice our instruments. I play the violin. And I play piano. Then we have our vocal lessons. la 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 la! <laughs> Susie needs a few more lessons. Then we take a bath together to save on water. Then we go to bed at 8 p.m. sharp. <laughs> I hate my life. Are you kids hungry? Well, we are. But our mother packed us some romaine lettuce to nibble on in case we do get hungry. <laughs> Kill me. Okay, you kids are not eating romaine lettuce for dinner. I'm going to get Chef Pee to make them something else. And I'm not going to follow your mom's stupid list because I've raised my own son and he turned out fine. I'm a shithead. All right, Jeffy, take them to your room while we cook dinner and show them your stuff. All right, guys, come to my room. I'm going to show you my shit. All right, guys, this is my playroom. That's my shit. Wow, you have so many toys. Our parents don't let us have toys. <laughs> Seriously, kill me. Do you guys want to see my mommy's favorite toy? Sure. sure. It's a dildo. What is a dildo? Well, she uses it to relieve stress and it smells like pickles. But I'm still confused. What is a dildo? Well, it's dough that smells like dill pickles. Here, play with it. Wow, thanks, Jeffy. <laughs> it's so squishy and slimy and ew, pickles. I want to try. I want to see what it tastes like. Okay, here, Susie. Ew, it tastes like pickles. <laughs> Wow, Jeffy, thanks for letting me and my little sister play with your mom's dildo. I can't wait to tell my parents. Yeah, it's pretty fun, isn't it? Mm -mm -mm, this looks so delicious. Ooh, I'm gonna be a fat ass tonight. Hey, Chef PP, what are you cooking for dinner? My signature double donut double cheeseburger and double donut chicken sandwich. What? Is that a McDonald's double cheeseburger in between two Krispy Kreme donuts? Yeah, but I'm the first one to think of it. Isn't that a little unhealthy? Yeah, but it's Unhealthy Wednesday. And on Unhealthy Wednesdays, we make bad decisions and eat bad food. All because my parents got a divorce on a Wednesday. You know, I'll never forget about it. <laughs> well, I'm babysitting two kids. Can you make two more of these donut double cheeseburgers? Oh, yeah, you got it. Let me get on it. Whoa, it's so stretchy. And long. All right, kids, it's time for dinner. Oh, hey, Mr. Marvin. We're having a blast playing with your wife's dildo. What? It tastes horrible, though. What, Daddy, what are they talking about? This, Daddy, it's dildo. What? Where'd you find this? I found it in Mommy's bedside table. It was right next to the big rubber dick. Well, well, Jeffy, don't play with this near the carpet. I don't want it to stain anything. All right, kids, come downstairs. It's time for dinner. All right, kids, here's your dinner. Wow, this looks really unhealthy. And here's some ice cream to dip your burgers in. Holy macaroni, that's a lot of sugar in that drink. We're not allowed to have sugar. Oh, come on, Timmy. We already broke one rule today. We played with that lady's dildo. You're right, and it smelled like pickles. Ew. What the fuck? You know what? I don't even want to know. Come on, kids, just eat your food. Are you sure we shouldn't just munch on this romaine lettuce our mother gave us? No, you need to eat some new food. Your parents are lame and they make you eat a bunch of healthy stuff. Sometimes it's good to eat unhealthy food. Well, I guess you're right. Hey, Daddy, where's mine? Uh, you got these green beans, Jeffy. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. They get the fun food and I get these green beans. Well, you wanna know what I think about your green beans? No! <laughs> Jeffy, you go to your room! Planned on it! I am so sorry about him doing that. Oh, it's all right. Our parents fight all the time. Now for me to try this food. Uh. Wow! Holy shit! Susie, you gotta try this stuff! It's like crap! I wanna try this monster energy drink! Do it, 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 do it! Holy shit, you did it! I'm a shitter! Me too! You wanna run around and some break stuff? Yeah! Wow! No, 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 don't run around and break stuff! Oh my god, what'd I do? Woo! Susie, look at all these plates! Let's do what Jeffy did! What are you kids doing? Hey Susie, let's go play in the garbage can! Woo! 
I'm gonna call your parents! Ugh. Marvin, what's all that noise downstairs? The kids are running around the house and breaking things. What? I thought they were supposed to be nice. They're supposed to be. Well, what did you do? I just fed them dinner. What did you feed them? A donut double cheeseburger and a monster energy drink. Well, you should have fed them green beans like you tried to do me, you bald, ugly douche. Marvin, where's that list they gave you? We don't need this stupid list. It's just a bunch of dumb stuff. Marvin, right here it says don't drink soda and don't eat candy. Well, I didn't give them soda or candy. I gave them an energy drink and I gave them donuts. Marvin, that's well, look, they're already breaking like four of the rules because they've ran around the house and they've been breaking things. I'm jumping on the couch! I'm watching TV! Okay, now they've broken all the rules. What are we going to do? I don't know, Marvin. Oh, yeah, I remember. They said they left the number on the back of the paper, so I'm going to call the dad. Okay, I got my phone. It's ringing. Hey, howdy, hey. It's Hank. Hey, listen, Hank, it's an emergency. You need to come back. How's it going? It's not going good. Your kids are running around the house and they're breaking things. Fantastic. No, that's not fantastic. They're breaking every single one of your hucker rules. Is that right? Yes, come back right now. Oh, I'm just kidding. It's not really me. It's my answering machine for Hank Huckerdoo. Please leave a message after the lawnmower. I got his voicemail. Uh, Marvin, there's a kid about to jump off the back. Hey Susie, look! I'm a chicken! Watch me fly! Oh, but chickens can't fly! This one can! Whoa. Okay, I wrapped your broken leg in a paper towel because we don't have a cast. And we don't want to call a doctor because we don't want your parents knowing you broke your leg. Gee whiz, I can't believe I got that crazy over a little bit of sugar. I guess that's why it's a hucker don't. Ha 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 My dad's going to kill me. Your dad's not going to kill you because he's not going to find out about this. Marvin, how are we going to hide a broken leg? Because when they get back, he's going to take the paper towel off his leg, he's going to hop over to his house, and he's going to act like he falls down the stairs, and that's how he breaks his leg. But that would be lying, and lying is a hucker don't. Well, you already broke all the other. Hucker don't, so you're gonna do one more, or I'm gonna tell your parents about all the stuff you did. Yes, sir. So, Jeffy, rumpus time is over. You're gonna take these kids to your room, and you're not gonna let them leave, okay? Yes, sir. All right, guys, we're going to my room again. You stay in that room, and if you leave, I'm telling your parents. Oh, this is a nightmare. All right, guys, you gotta stay in my room. My daddy said so. Ooh, can I play with your cat piano? Sure, just don't break it. I'm gonna play Roblox on my computer, but first, I'm gonna watch this video. Wow, what are those two girls doing? They're naked and wrestling? Yeah, something like that. Is there a video of two guys doing that too? Is is that a thing? Can you look that up? Uh, oh! <gasps> I'm so sorry, I broke your cat piano! You bitch! Oh. oh my god! You hit my sister with a baseball bat! What's wrong with you? You want some too? Daddy! Daddy, the fucker dude's gotta go! Jeffy, language! No, mommy, that little girl broke my cat piano, so I hit her in the head with a baseball bat! You did what, Jeffy? Baby, go check on her. Okay. Jeffy, why would you do that? Because she broke my shit! Oh my god, she's unconscious! Do you think she's dead? Hopefully! You murderer! Alright, everyone calm down, stop yelling. Here's the plan. When your parents get back, we're gonna put sunglasses on her, and we're gonna pretend she's still conscious, okay? Oh, like Weekend at Bernie's? Yeah, just like that. And if you don't do that, I'm gonna tell your parents that you guys broke all these rules. I still think we should tell the truth. Yeah, I agree, Marvin. They're here! You know, we're gonna do my plan! Grab some sunglasses, go! Hello! Howdy, Marvin! We're just getting back from the old Outback Steakhouse. How was it? Oh, it was delicious. The blooming onion was crispy. And guess who works there part time as a waitress? The babysitter! Yeah, I gave her a big tip. For the second time today! And then I gave her some cash. Again, for the second time today! Yeah, so Marvin, how are the old kids? Uh, they're upstairs reading a book. Oh, what piece of literature? Uh, a math book. Oh, Susie does need to work on her math. Yeah, she does. But uh, we'll just grab our kids and be on our way, Marvin. Well, no, no. If you want them to stay the night for like a month, they can. Yeah, no can do. See, it's 8.01, so it's past the bedtime. And also, we still got to do our family prayer, so we'll just grab the old tater tots and be on our way. Uh, okay. So your kids are in here, but meet my wife, Rose. Oh, does your husband cheat on you too? Oh, honey, stop it. Why don't you fetch me a toothpick? I think I got some blooming onions stuck in my teeth. Why don't you have the waitress get it out with her tongue? You know, I think I might. Well, kids, it's time for you to go home, so go with your parents. Susie, why are you slouching? Oh, uh, Susie isn't slouching. She's, uh, practicing for a limbo competition. Oh, well, you know, your mother was a 10-time limbo champion. Yep, why do you think we got two kids? Your mother sure knows how to Bend it over. 
Demi, what'd you do today? Oh, we had a lot of fun. We got to play with Mr. Marvin's wife's dildo. Man, was it stinky and slimy. Susie fit the whole thing in her mouth, but she spit it out because it tasted like pickles. <laughs> What's wrong, Mother? It was just a dildo. Shut up! Get your ass home! We're going! Marvin, don't you ever speak to my family ever again. You don't understand. It wasn't a real dildo. It was like a silly putty. I don't care what type of sick thoughts you have. Just keep them away from me and my family. Hey, before you leave, your daughter has a concussion and your son has a broken... Oh, man! I can't wait to play video games all summer! No, sir! No video games for you! Why, Dad? You're not gonna sit in the house and play video games all summer. You're gonna do something healthy. Like, go outside and play. Or, uh, read a book. Read a book? Do books even exist anymore? Of course they exist! What kind of question is that? I got the perfect book for you right here. It's the Guinness Book of World Records. 2015? That was six years ago! Hey, hey! It's a classic. I think it's about a kid who becomes a wizard, and, uh, somebody bangs a wolf or something, and, uh, ooh, ooh, they got fat people right here! Fat people? Yeah, all types of stuff. You can learn a lot of stuff in here. Okay, I'll read the book. Yeah, yeah. What are you about to go do? Oh, I'm about to go and watch TV. Why do you get to watch TV? Hey, I'm old. I've given up on life. Look, you, you're still young. You can learn. So get to reading, okay? Tell me what you learned. Okay. Stupid. These are world records. Wait, fattest person in the world? <laughs> Have they seen Cody's mom yet? <laughs> Tallest person in the world? Whoa, these are really cool. Wait, so if I set a world record, I could get in this book? I want to set a world record! Yeah! I'm gonna set a world record this summer! Chef BB! Oh man, so many dishes! I swear I watched the most dishes in the world! Hey Chef BB! Oh, what do you want, Junior? Well, my dad got me this book called the Guinness Book of World Records. Book? And I, and I decided I'm gonna set a world record! <laughs> You set a world record? Yeah. Junior, you can't set a world record. It takes talent to set a world record, and you don't have it. Well, I have talent. <laughs> like what? Well, I can pick my... Besides picking your nose. Uh, I can dance. <laughs> dance? Well, well, dance for me. Oh, oh, wow. Yeah, you might actually get in there. Really? No, no, Junior, that was sarcasm. You don't have talent. Well, I can sing. You will, well, sing for me. Hit a note. Uh, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and my ears are about to bleed. Well, look, Chevy, I have talent. I'm going to set a world record. <laughs> the day you actually set a world record is the day I'll admit I'm gay. Wait, so you are gay? You just haven't admitted it yet? What? No, 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 no. Look, look. Uh, I, 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 You're gay? No, no, no. I, I was just going to say the day that I, I, you break a record is the day I say I'm gay. Ha. No, you said admit it. You know what, Chevy? I'll go break a world record just so you can finally come out, okay? No, no, no. I like women, Junior. You just missed You hurt me. God dang it. <sighs> Stupid chef pee, pee saying I can't set a world record. I can set a world record. All the records in this book are dumb. Like, look at this guy. All he did was open his mouth. Ah, ah. <laughs> See, I'm a dinosaur. It looks like you saw a dinosaur. And look at this guy. He, all he did was look, open his eyes. All he did was open his eyes. Stupid. And look at this guy. All he did was stick his tongue out. Uh, uh, he put me in the book. These are dumb. I can easily get in this book. You know what? I'm gonna call a guy from the Guinness Book of World Records to come over to my house, and he's gonna witness me break a hundred records. I'm gonna break a hundred records in front of the guy. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh man, that must be the guy from the Guinness Book of World Records. I'm gonna set a hundred records today. Hello? Hey, you're the kid who said he's gonna break a hundred records today? I sure am. Wow, you must have a lot of talent. Yeah, talent is my first and last name. Wow, that's a lot to live up to, and also kind of a weird name. Talent, talent. Hmm. Yeah, so you want to come inside and watch me break a hundred records? I'd love to. No one's ever done that before. Yeah, come on. Yeah. All right. I call this the record-breaking couch because I'm going to break all those records on this couch. Okay. Oh, I see you get the book. You've been doing research? Yeah, the book is what inspired me to want to break a world record. Okay. Show me what you got, Mr. Talent. Mr. Talent? Who's that? Well, it's you, right? Because your name is Talent Talent. Oh, yeah. I'm Mr. Talent. Yeah, so show me what you got. Oh, okay. Record number one. Uh... What are you doing? I'm doing what he did. He opened his mouth. Uh, no, his mouth is way bigger than you. Uh, no, no, no. I'm opening him bigger. Uh, it's just like a normal mouth. Uh, I, no. I can do that. Look. You just beat him. Well, yeah. Wow. You, you should be in the book. Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay, you got that record, but uh, I got this one. Uh, What's that? I'm taking my tongue out. What? No, 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 no. Come on. Look, his tongue is way bigger than yours. No, I'm talking out of my mouth. It's not even coming out of your mouth. Oh, okay, okay. Um. I got this one. What? I, I'm, doing, I'm doing what she did with her eyes. 
You look like you're trying to read my mind. My eyes are coming out of my head. N no, they're not. They're like the most two-dimensional eyes ever. They're not sticking out at all. Oh, I thought this was gonna be easy. Well, if it was easy, then it wouldn't be in the book. Well, look, all this guy did was have an afro. Yeah, you're right. I feel like I've seen people with more hair than that. Yeah, so this is dumb. Well, if you're not gonna break a record, I'm gonna go home. Well, no, 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 no. Isn't your job to like wait around until I break a world record? No, I'm not just gonna sit around all day and wait for you to do something cool. Well, that's, that's what you gotta do. What if I break a world record on 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 accident? Well, if you accidentally break a world record, I'd be very very impressed. Look, just give me some more time. Okay, I'll give you 10 minutes, and if you don't break a record, I'm going home. Okay, uh, what can I do? Um, uh, well, what's an easy world record to break? Well, uh, people usually try to eat a lot of food. You know, this is that Joey Chestnut guy. He ate, like, 73 hot dogs in 10 minutes. 73 hot dogs in 10 minutes? Yeah. I could easily break that. I could eat, like, 100 hot dogs in 2 minutes. God damn. All right. Give it a shot, kid. All right, come on. Yeah, I can eat those. Whew, man. Thank God I'm finally done washing dishes. Chef Bibi, Chef Bibi, Chef Bibi. Julia, 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 what? I need you to make me 100 hot dogs. 100 hot dogs? Jesus Christ, for what? I want to set the world record to eat the most hot dogs. Oh, my God. We already established this. You're not going to break any world records today. But the hot dog record is easy. What's the record? Oh, okay, so this guy ate 73 hot dogs in 10 minutes. I'm going to eat 100 hot dogs in 2 minutes. Are you crazy, Junior? You're not going to eat that many hot dogs. And we only got like 2 in the refrigerator. We only have 2? Yeah. Okay, make the 2 hot dogs, because then I'm going to eat those 2 hot dogs in like... Three seconds. There's no way you're gonna do that, Junior. Yes, I am. You just don't want to come out of the closet. Hey, hey, I'm gonna make your stupid hot dogs because I'm not coming out of the closet. I mean, I, oh, mean, I, I mean, I told you. Not, I mean, you, you know what I meant. You just made the hot dog. God damn it. Mm. Oh, man, I can't believe I'm about to set a world record. Chef Baby, where's the hot dogs? Hold on, hold on. I'm bringing your stupid hot dogs. Now break the world record. That is not 100 hot dogs. Not even close. I know. We don't have 100 hot dogs. We only had two. What record are you gonna break with those? Well, I was thinking I could eat two hot dogs in three seconds. Wow, okay, that sounds cool. Yeah, so I'll eat these in three seconds. All right, I'd love to see that. All right, and go. Well, I'm not ready yet. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, I think I'm ready. Go. I'm not, I'm not ready yet. Wait, all right. Oh, hold on, I'm ready. I'm, uh, I'm ready. Go. I'm, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay. <clears throat> okay, okay, count me down from three. Okay, three. No, 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 like one. What? Oh, you said, okay. One, two, three, go. Oh. <laughs> Oh, God. I'm so full. Hey, mister, how long has it been? It's been 45, wait, 46 minutes. Oh, uh, did I break the record? No, absolutely not. You took one bite of one hot dog, and you spent the rest of the time complaining about your stomach hurting. Oh, uh, okay, so I clearly didn't get that record. No. Okay, but I have one hot dog left. What if I eat one hot dog in half a second? No, 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 no. We're not going to do that because we just proved that you can't do it. Well, well, well how about... How about this? What, what was that? It, it was uh, the, the hardest throwing of a plate of hot dogs in a kitchen. Uh, okay, that was really specific. I don't think that's a thing. Uh, I got that record. You have to give that one to me. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll ask them about that one. Okay, so I have one record right now. Okay, so let's, let's try to break another one. Ooh, ooh, how about loudest burp? Okay, yeah, that's a real one. Oh, okay, because I, I just got done eating, so I could burp really loud. Sure. Okay, so get your earplugs ready. I'm ready. I don't want to rupture your eardrums. I'm good. Okay, are you ready to listen to the loudest burp you ever heard? Yes, I am. All right, watch this. What was that? It was like, hold on, hold on. <clears throat> I, I, that wasn't a burp. There was just kind of like a squeak. Oh, okay, okay, okay. How about loudest fart? Is that is that is that a record? Yeah, I guess. Okay, okay. Loudest fart. Hmm. Ew. Th was that loud? No, it was just gross. Oh, okay, okay. How about ooh, ooh fastest uh, fastest saying ABCs? Is that is that a record? Yeah, yeah, that's a real one. Okay, fastest time saying ABCs. Okay, listen, listen. A, B, C, D, E, F, Z. No, 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 no. You're just saying A, B, C, D, E, F, Z. No, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, E, F, Z. No, no, you're skipping like three. A, B, C, D, E, F, Z. No, no, no. You just skip, say A, B, C, D. No, no, no. You're saying A, B, C, D. That's not. That's not. Like, what? You can say your A, B, C is fast too. No, I'm not doing it. I'm just like speeding through it. Okay, so me and you both have that record. We're tied with that one. No. Oh, okay, how about fastest time counting to a hundred? Yeah, if you uh, think you can. Okay, okay I, I can count to a hundred really fast. You ready? Okay. One, two, three, hundred. No, you're saying one, two, three, hundred. One, two, three, hundred. No, you just say you're just speeding through one, two, three. One, two, hundred. You're missing most of the numbers. One, two, hundred. What? You, one two hundred. That's what you said. One hundred. You're just saying one hundred. You're just saying one hundred now. It's nothing. Oh wait, how about fastest saying a hundred? No. Hundred. No. You, one hundred. It's, you're not, you're not even saying it that fast. Hi. 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 You're just Hi. making noises. Hi. You're just yelling. Hi. Okay, we're gonna move on to something Hi. else now. One hundred. Stop. Stop. One hundred. Stop. Stop. One hundred. Stop it. One hundred. Stop. Stop. Try to break a record in here somewhere. Okay, just look around. Okay. Uh. Ooh. Chef Pee Pee left the bread out. How about fastest time putting the bread back in the pantry? What? No. You're just doing chores at this point. 
This isn't a record. Wait. How fast was that? I didn't time it because it's not a record. Okay, so I have that record. So I have like three records now. What? No. Ooh, how about loudest cabinet slam? What? What are you talking about? What? No. That was loud. Yeah, it was. It was just annoying. Okay, so I got that record. No. Oh, how about longest time sitting in the microwave? What? what, what? Oh, yeah, watch this. What are you doing? Get out of there. No, I'm breaking the record. No, this isn't a record. Is it in the book? No. See, look, I'm the first one to do it, so I just set another record. Wait, it doesn't, it's not in the book because it doesn't matter. Oh, okay, okay, watch this, watch this. Loudest microwave door slam. No, you can't just. You that was loud. You're just slamming things and calling it a record. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Most paper towels wasted. Well, yeah, my kids already got that one. I'm doing it more. That's a lot of paper towels wasted. Yeah. Okay, is. so put that in the record book. I'm not doing that. Ooh, how about biggest brain freeze? I don't even know how to measure that. Let me go get the ice cream. What? All right, mister. I got a big old bowl of ice cream. Yeah, that's a bowl of ice cream. Is it the world's biggest bowl of ice cream? No, definitely not. Okay, well, look, I'm going to get the world's biggest brain freeze. And I'm going to break that record. But how am I going to tell how big your brain freeze is? Based on how loud I scream, because of how much pain I'm in from the brain freeze, I'm going to scream really loud, and that's how you're going to measure it. And you're also going to give me the record for the loudest scream. Okay, whatever. And I'm also gonna eat ice cream with a fork, so I get the world record for the first person to eat ice cream with a fork. Okay, you're definitely not the first person to do that. And then I have this big bag of gummy bears, so look, 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 watch this. Most gummy bears on an ice cream! No, you're just making a gummy bear mess. That's a lot of, that's a lot of gummy bears. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, and also, um, uh, ooh, fastest time counting all the gummy bears on my ice cream. One, two, three hundred. No, no, no. One, two, three hundred. No, can, 100. Stop, stop, okay? Just stop it. You are not gonna break any world records, okay? You're too young, and you're really stupid, okay? Okay, I don't think this is gonna happen. Am I the stupidest person in the world? Is that a world record? No, no, you're just stupid, okay? You're rock stupid. Maybe when you're older and you're more mature and you're less stupid, maybe you could break a world record. But for now, it's not happening. Sorry. But, oh, I guess Chef PB was right. I'll never break a world record. Wait a minute. Oh, I got an idea. Mr. Wait! Waste of my damn time. Hey, Mr. Mr. Please don't leave yet. No, no, you just wasted my entire day trying to break world records. No, 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 I promise I have one more world record. I know I can break it. You just have to give me two minutes. You have two minutes, no more, no less. No, come on, come on, come on. Okay, okay, mister. Just stand right here and give me two minutes. I'm gonna break the world's biggest record. Okay, you have two minutes. <sighs> okay. <sighs> All the gummy bears. <sighs> okay, yes. I'm gonna make the coolest thing ever. <sighs> You only have like a minute now, and all you're doing is picking up gummy bears. Well, just turn around. Stop watching. Fine. Okay, that should do. Chef uh, uh, does this all the time. Uh, and I'm going to make the coolest thing ever. Okay, mister, just 30 more seconds. Okay, you have 30 seconds. One Mississippi. Two Mississippi. Or, or would you prefer one, two, thirty? Come on, come on, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up! It's done! Hey, mister, it's done! All right, what'd you do? All right, check this out. Well, no, 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 not loudest oven door slam. Wait, that's not. Ow, right. ow, ow, ow! Move oh, it, move uh, it, move uh, it, move uh, it! Ow! Oh, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry. Ouch! Oh no, 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 no! Check this out. I made the world's biggest gummy bear. Whoa, kid, you made that damn thing? Yeah, I did. The world's biggest gummy bear, right? W wow, how did you do this? I, I smashed together a bunch of little gummy bears, and I made the world's biggest gummy bear. I don't really see how that's possible, but kid, you did it. This is a world record. I set a world record? Yeah. I set a world record. So I'm going to be in the book? You're going to be in the book. Oh, really? So I get my picture in and everything? Yeah, yeah, I'll take your picture. Oh, okay. Take my picture with it. Okay, got it. Great. Oh, my God, so I'm going to be in the book? Yeah, yeah, I'll get you the book real soon. I'm going to go rub it. Chef Pee-Pee's face! Oh man, I can finally relax. Hey, Chef Pee-Pee! Julia, what do you want? I'm trying to relax. Turn to page 57. 57? For what? I want you to see something. Well, like, Julia, is that you? Yeah, I'm in the Guinness Book of World Records. So, wait, you did this? You actually cooked this? Yeah, I set a world record. I made the world's biggest gummy bear. Well, you must get your cooking skills from me. <laughs> Especially no, if no. you're breaking records. I just smashed a bunch of gummy bears. It had nothing to do with you. Oh, wow. Well, you actually did it. You proved me wrong, Junior. Yeah, I set a world record, so hold up your end of the deal. Huh? Admit you're gay. 